everybody, it's Haley with Moth Chalk Cosplay here, and I'm sorry that I did not make a vlog last week. Life has been really, really crazy and hectic, and last week I was preparing for my guest appearance at Saratoga Comic Con. We're gonna start out with the project that's been giving me the most problems, which is children. Um, this is what children looks like right now at this very moment in time. Uh, if you follow my Instagram or my Facebook page, you probably last saw children completely painted gold and beautiful and like looking really cool. It was almost done. However, once I painted it gold, there were a lot of problems and things that needed to be sanded down. So after the convention, I actually <laughs> like sanded all of the paint off. The black is put back on there and I'm preparing to paint it gold again just to see like what other problems there might be that I can fix before starting the mold. I thought this was was ready for mold and so I bought um, my silicone and I bought the Umu 25 from Smooth On and let me tell you it's $153 for the gallon unit. It's not cheap. It's very, very expensive. Making a mold, a two-part mold, I knew was going to take up a lot of the materials. I was prepared for that, so I, I laid this down and I, I lined it all with clay and I did everything to prep it for the two-part mold and I mixed my silicone and then I poured it in and then an hour and a half later I came back and it was not it was not good. Um, it was all my fault. I did not mix the silicone properly together, so it didn't cure correctly, and there was no saving it. At that point, I was just kind of like, you know what, that's okay, we'll move on to the glass batter. So I, once again, like, this is gonna be a two-part mold project. I set it with clay, I got everything, like, ready to go, and I poured the silicone in, and it cured perfectly. So I was like super excited. I was like, oh my gosh, it's actually happening. We take it out. The dagger popped out of the mold and we went to go and set it back in the mold. Something was not setting right and it wasn't laying exactly where it needed to be 100% flat. So I called in my husband and I was like, hey, like, can you help me out a little bit? And he goes, sure. And he applies pressure right here and right here and the dagger snaps. And at that point, oh, I was in tears. We ended up actually pouring the silicone into the mold with the broken dagger just to see what would happen. And I told him, before you pour, you need to put a mold release on. And we used Vaseline because it's cheap and it was accessible. Somewhere along the way, it got mixed up. He did not apply the Vaseline all along all of the silicone. He poured it in and it cured about two hours later and I pulled it out and I was like, Oh my god. It was it was a block of silicone. The dagger was trapped inside. And so we like take an exacto and we cut it and it's like not an even cut and things aren't matching up perfectly at that point, but we were like, you know what, fuck it. We're gonna try pouring resin in here anyway. The resin literally just went straight through. You know, I realized that was happening, so I stopped pouring the resin. This did, however, give me a chance to see what this resin would look like and how it would cure. This is the result of Smooth On's Epoxycast 690. After that, I did not have enough silicone to try and recast children. Since those failures, I've been feeling very, I guess, scared to work with the material again. I needed to work on the belt for my Death Knight Tier 10. And at this point, all that's left on the belt is to put a skull. Same with the gauntlets. The gauntlets also need like a skull design. And originally my plan was to sit down and carve it out of a block of EVA foam. It was taking too long and the quality of the product I was getting was not up to my standard. So I was like, all right, let's do something different. I ordered this stuff, it's called Pro Foam Clay. As of right now, I'm not a fan. That stuff was not doing me what I wanted it to. So I was like, you know what? Let's sculpt out the things that I need and we will do a silicone cast of it and then use a two-part expanding foam. This is the uh, sculpt piece for my gauntlet and I made a silicone mole, which is this guy. And this actually turned out beautifully. These eyes right here will be filled with LED, so they're going to glow. Same with the nose. I'm making teeth out of Warbla. And then I also did the same thing for the skull on the belt, which is this guy. I ordered a sample of the expanding foam. I'm hoping that it'll have the consistency and the feel that I want. And if not, that's okay. We'll do what we can. <laughs> I mean, honestly, that's really, really it. I've had failures with resin, failures with silicone, failures with foam clay stuff. Just this week has been a week of growth and learning and trying my best to stay positive. And there were like days where I just didn't want to work on anything because nothing was really working out right. And I was just sad and really, really heartbroken and down in the dumps and everything. And then I realized I literally tell people all the time 
that you need to look for the brightest part in a situation no matter what and you need to find that and like learn and grow so if I sit here and I mope and I whine and I don't do what I tell everybody else to do all the time I'm a hypocrite and so it really kind of got me off my butt and both of those casts were actually made yesterday. I sculpted the two pieces in two days. Once I got in, in motion, I was good. Going to Saratoga Comic Con, there were some amazing people. There was a whole lot of talent and being surrounded by people that loved what they were doing, obviously very inspiring. Hopefully the next few days will be very, very productive for me. I want to finish up my Death Knight set by December. So I have about two weeks and then I have to start on the Lich King armor. So that'll be very, very fun. We got both the cats in here. Delilah is on my lap and Samson's on the floor wanting attention. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like, comment, subscribe, do what you want. I don't really give a shit. Live your life. And that's really, really all that I have to say. Uh, I will see you next week. And if I don't see you next week, hopefully I will see you at a convention. Bye.